One of basketball's fundamentals is simply dribbling the ball. And in the NBA, the best ball handlers are the point guards. Weaving through the obstacle course. For them, handling the ball is all about rhythm and precision, just like a rock and roll drummer. So what we want to know is can the NBA's best point guards, while dribbling the ball, possibly move their hands as fast as a rock and roll drummer? To help answer the question, we turn the stage over to rock and roll legend, Matt Sorum. One of the best hard rock drummers on the planet, Matt has been in three huge bands, The Cult, Velvet Revolver, and Guns N' Roses. As a kid, I started practicing my technique with my hands, and, and the, the object was to get as fast as possible. So just how fast are the hands of an elite rock drummer? Can he possibly move as quickly as basketball's best dribblers? Answering the challenge is NBA phenom, Jared Bayless. Like the drummer who controls the tempo of a song, guards like Bayless control the tempo of a game with their hands. If you're gonna survive in the NBA, you gotta have quick hands. You wanna be able to dribble equally with both hands. Now, if I'm doing my right hand, you wanna be able to pound it the same way on the left hand as well. So there's no weakness while you're dribbling the ball. Both our rock and roll drummer and our dribbling whiz are getting rigged up with some high-tech hardware. Both will be wearing a wireless accelerometer on their hands to reveal exactly how fast they move. You ready? Yes. Right hand, left hand. Anything that you think is going to produce the most number of dribbles within 30 seconds. Okay. Matt will be using a technique known as a single stroke roll to get his hands moving at top speed around the drums. To get the most speed, Jared will be using both hands and dribbling low to the ground. There are plenty of game situations when a guard has to revive a low ball. And as long as both hands don't touch the ball at the same time, it's a legal dribble. Oof. It's time to find out who's faster, a dribbler or a drummer. Ready to do it? Ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. has the faster hands, yourself or a rock and roll drummer? I think I do. I hope I do, at least. So who is faster, the dribbler or the drummer? At his peak, Matt Sorum was drumming an amazing 12 times per second. That's as fast as the wing speed of a hummingbird. Well, the slowest hummingbird, which is South America's giant hummingbird. Uh, that monitor was really cool. It was like an EKG, you know? It was really cool to see that work on my hand like that. And how fast was Jared dribbling? The data from the accelerometer reveals that Jared peaked at an amazing 14 dribbles per second. That's 10% faster than Matt. That's even faster than the wheels on Matt's tour bus would spin at 95 miles per hour. When Jared's dribbling, Thousands of nerve endings in his fingertips, called mechanoreceptors, send electrical impulses flying to his brain and back at 134 miles an hour. You're going to be put in different situations while you're in the game, so you got to always practice for everything, and uh, that's one of the things I actually practice. 
I've never seen my hand speed that fast. That was totally cool to see that. You know, I had no idea that was even possible. With that kind of hand speed, maybe Matt missed his calling. <laughs> Apparently, Matt did not, in fact, miss his calling.